in as we welcome you to Veterans Memorial Stadium in Troy, Alabama. It's the Sun Belt opener for both these teams as the Arkansas State Red Wolves have come to town to take on the Troy Trojans. Line. These are two teams. Hatcher on his first play, going to throw it deep on the far sideline. It's caught by Bayless. Man down, he's going to go the distance. How about Lane Hatcher on his first snap with Arkansas State, throws a 92-yard touchdown pass, and Arkansas State has the early lead. Two minutes and 17 seconds into this ballgame, Arkansas State bolts to an early 7-0 lead on the touchdown pass from Hatcher to Bayless. It's his seventh touchdown score of the season. Keep this defense honest and test this secondary down the field. So first and 10 for Troy from their own 49. Blitz is coming. They pick it up. Ball slips out of Barker's hand. It's scooped up by Arkansas State. That's going to be another score. Logan Westcott takes it in, and it's 13 to nothing, Arkansas State. Wow, ball slipped right out of Caleb Barker's hands. And Logan Westcott was there to scoop and score. And Arkansas State with a stunning two-score lead early in this ballgame. Barker to the air, and Todd over the shoulder, inside the 20 and out of bounds. And Reggie Todd with his hold, and Cameron Kay on the snap. And the kick is good. For Arkansas State. Pooch kick will go to the far side. Fair catch is bobbled. It's recovered by Troy at the 26 yard line. So a break goes the Trojans' way. Watch for Troy taking you deep. Offenses like to go deep after big turnovers. They're going for their shot right there in the end zone. Touchdown, Troy. Troy Eper on the good end of a 26-yard touchdown reception. And I don't have to do much, kind of throw short and let them go long. Hatcher going to wing it out here to the near side, caught by Bayless. That's his third grab, a little hesitation move, and Bayless is all the way down to Transfer the 21-yard line. Spring to Arkansas State to be back home, and now getting his opportunity to start with Logan Bonner out for the season. Touchdown to Merritt. Touchdown, Arkansas. Third down now and medium for Troy at the 40-yard line. Time runs out and a quarterback sack, and that is Merrill who That's slings like Barker. Battle out here right now. Troy with this defense mixing it up is kind of stalling out this Red Wolves offense. Ball is out. Troy recovers. Chapman fumbled the ball. I don't think they ever blew the play dead. He was still moving his feet, and Carlton Marshall Stevenson comes up with the Bradshaw yelling out instructions to his offensive line as Clark goes in motion. Pocket for Barker. Got a man open. Touchdown, Troy. <laughs> Brett Clark was the man who went in motion. Apparently, nobody picked him up. Oklahoma, second down and 15 now. Jones goes in motion. They go on the screen underneath. The Bayless, he's got some running room. Man misses, and he's down to the 45-yard line, has a first down. Just the everything big, physical, 6-3, about 210. There's nothing he can't really do. He can run the deep pattern right there, showing you how tough of a runner once he gets the ball in his hand. That was his fifth catch of the game. He's over 160 yards receiving. Now they go up top and going deep. Man wide open, Merritt touchdown, Arkansas State. On one side is Bayless, on the other is his roommate and best. Going up top, far sideline, and caught by Reggie Todd inside the 10 yard line. Defensive lineman, let's see who won the play call here. Gonna be a run, and it's Geiger into the end zone, touchdown, Troy. Chip Lindsey, the best calling the play, as aggressive he is when he goes up to catch the ball. He's big, and as you can see right here, he understands. He, he, he Kick is on its way, and it is good. 36-yard field goal for That's Ruby. That's legit. But oftentimes, after you drop a ball like that, you're injured. Barker to the air, caught by Geiger, 
steps out of bounds at the 12-yard line. And red zone scores 83% of the time they're in there. They score 67% touchdowns. That's a touchdown to McLean. Touchdown, Troy. And the Trojans a PAT away from pulling even with a minute to play in the half. And pass protection. Can they get something going in the run game? Barker. Stands in the pocket, fires across the middle. It's caught by Geiger at the 46-yard line. Middle of the field, trying to get Troy their first lead of the night. Kick on its way, good. Troy on top, 34-31. There they go, late. Put for late getting on the field. They're going to run a fake. Flutter ball up there. It's caught at the 45-yard line and a first down. First down as Grace throws a completion to Brandon Bowley. enough air under it so he could go make a play. So Hatcher back out there on offense, fires to the sideline. That's caught by Adams. He's wide open. Man to beat down there inside the 10 and dropped at the 8. The route he's running, they're concerned about him getting open. He's had a big game, both safety and corner going with him and leaving Jonathan Adams wide open. Touchdown, Arkansas State. As Jamal, Jamal Jones, Jones takes it in Wolves. from seven Good yards touchdown. out and pin balls into the end zone for the score. Red Wolves back on top, 37-34. Akron, he's Gamble. got 98 here tonight. And Barker, got to watch from behind. Runs through the defense and slides down at the seven-yard line. Another field goal here. He's already hit from 20 and 22 yards. And this is another 22-yarder, and it is good. Wait. He's got and 10 now tackles, seven solos, and two pass breakups. Barker in trouble. He's going to go down at the 29-yard line. William Bradley King got the sack. Boy. Sumter standing at the 11 to kick it. Heavy rush, it's blocked. And Arkansas State's going to take over inside the 35-yard line. Another big-time special teams play as, again, on special teams, a big-time play for Arkansas State. They get the ball back. Let's see if they take a shot at the end zone. They do. Jump ball. Touchdown, Arkansas State. Jonathan Adams went up top and leapt over the 6-4 corner, Will Sunderland, for the touchdown. Big and physical are these receivers for Arkansas State, and they've shown all night. You put them in a one-on-one -on -one situation in a jump ball, they're going to win. Right there, contorting his body to lean back and get that right off of, there. and we're talking about... Second down and 10. Barker to this near sideline. That's caught by Gibson. And Gibson, that'll be the first field goal here. Top team in the Sun Belt on third down is Troy. And touchdown, Troy. Touchdown for the Trojans. Geiger with the touchdown catch. Eight-yard scoring strike. Heavy rush coming off the edge, and Barker's going to take a loss. The ball is loose and finally covered. Remember, that's a live ball on the two-point track. Hatcher to the far side. That's a first down catch for Adams. Adams did not. Hatcher going up top, near side, jump ball, and intercepted by Sunderland at the one-yard line. This time, Sunderland from Pater. But they don't have to get a touchdown here. A field goal gives them the lead. And Sumter's already hit. That's going to be a safety as Chambers gets the safety on the tackle in the end zone. Billingsley never got out of the red. And Todd J. Chambers, it's been, moving. it's been moving the chains. It's been burning the clock. Hasn't been spectacular, but it's worked. Hatcher to the air, near side, and Merritt, did he come down with it? My goodness, Merritt just made a spectacular catch at the six-yard line between two defenders. Just went up and got it. Kurt Merritt, six feet, 215 pounds on the ground right there. Once again, Lane Hatcher just trusting these receivers that they're going to win the one-on-one -on -one battle right there, winning one-on-two battle. 
And that is an incredible catch in traffic. And that might be Sean Sprawling. It is tight angle, however, from that left hash. Kick is on its way and good. And so a seven-point lead. The ball that was the safe. Of the field. So first and ten for Troy from the 45. They're down a touchdown. Barker stands in there, dumps it deep. Intercepted inside the 20-yard line. They give it right back as Edmonds comes up with the pick. And seven, ball at the 47. Huge play. Hatcher fires. Intercepted at the 50-yard line. Carlton Marshall comes up with a huge play to get the rock back for his team. Heavy rush. Complete to Billingsley, but he's going to be dropped for a loss. They're going to have to burn a timeout there. Third, and it's third down now. He wants to spike the ball to bring up a fourth down play. Clock is running. No, he's not going to spike it. Standing in the pocket. Throws complete to Billingsley inside the 10. He is short of the first down. It's fourth down. Clock is running. There's a man down. An offensive lineman down for Troy. And Matt, I'm not sure that Troy has a timeout. They're running this operation as though there is no timeout. Now, this entry would be a time would we run the game off the clock. Game running game under over. one minute is an injury to an offensive player which stopped the clock. That qualifies for a 10 second runoff, and the offense does not have any more Troy's time. Done. The game is the over. Game is Arkansas over. State is one. Yeah. Game over. We discussed whether they had that time out or not because that affects the drive yeah. in Caleb After Parker. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. There is a 10-second runoff wow. for the injured game offensive over. player. The game is over. What a disappointing finish for Troy as the game ends at the Arkansas State 12-yard line. And you can look at the disappointment of the offensive line right there. Getting